<laughs> was laughing and doing something. Yeah. Oh, sure, the will come there, okay? Okay, sweetie, it's just coming up. Hi, everybody. I have got Pip with me. She's just about to share the link with you. So just want to see that you're all okay, you're safe, and that you're having a good day. I hope you can join us. Uh, we're going to be doing a card kit today. I know a lot of you have purchased one. So I'm just going to talk you through some of the elements and how to put it together. Um, so that would be um, lovely uh, for, for any of you who have bought the kit to join us. But otherwise, we will be recording this and we will be downloading it to YouTube so that you do have that information. So, so we've got a couple of people already joining us. Um, which is great um, and then we're going to talk through some new projects some new card kits and some zoom projects which we had our first zoom on Thursday and it was amazing I'll show you for some of those who didn't join us what oh, we made oh my sister's gonna, just gonna it, just gonna grab it for me so so I just want to show you very quickly because we'll be doing some more zoom projects this is what we did in our last Zoom. So anybody who couldn't join us, I'm sorry. Um, hi, Jill. Um, that's our last Zoom project we did. Um, most of the ladies were from Canada. Um, so, um, but that was what we did last last week. We will be sharing with you some of the new projects which we'll be doing. Hi, Paul. So you have some room there. You look squashed. Yeah. Oh, it's planning me out here, I have to add. So, yeah. So, I'm going to let Pip come over because she's much better at showing this stuff. Hi, so everyone. Good do. morning. I am much better. Thank you for everybody sending their well wishes. Uh, I am doing better when it comes to having a cold. Uh, my hair is not doing very good. Um, <laughs> but I did manage to strain my neck somehow, so I'm a little bit stiff. Stiff. Um, okay, let's have a look. What's going on? So what are you doing today? So today we're going to look at making just through these six cards. So do you want to hold them up? Oh, yes, 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 yes. There you go. So a lot of people have bought this kit already, haven't they, Pip? Yeah, they've all been delivered. They've sold out. Um, these sold out, I think, like, it was in, like, a couple of hours. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the ones with acetate. You've got the loved one there for Merry Christmas. Um, you've got also the beautiful acorns, and this is Becky said and die there. Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> okay. Am I going too fast? This beautiful deer, which we'll be making today. Um, but this, I love this one. This is one of my favourites. Simple but beautiful. So effective. Yeah. These are the Fabrica paper. So if you if you do have the pad, you can do this yourself. And the um, obviously all the elements we put together. And we do all the mat and layering for you. It's just a matter of you getting the kit. Yeah, so, putting it together. Yeah. So you get it like this, all in bits. But you get all the bits for all six cards. Yeah. Already done for you. So that's what we'll be doing today in our our um, uh, Facebook um, live. Live. So just simple cards for us to have for Christmas ready to send out. Yep. And then I'm just going to talk about next week. I'm up. Um, sticking with the Christmas theme, um, I've actually done a journal page um, in my journal, of course, I've got a few journal pages, and it's right here. So I'm going to be doing that next week, and this is using some modeling paste, sparkling gels, and I don't know if you can see that, Oops, there we go, right there. You see that Merry Christmas in gold and those snowflakes on the side in gold? They are actually, beautiful. I used to have these when we were little. Yeah, they're like rub-ons. Right, they are. Yeah, they but are. They're beautiful oh, they are rub-ons. Yeah, they're beautiful designs though. And they're beautiful designs. Here, yeah. So I don't know if next week I'm going to stick to the Christmas one because now that I've done one, I want to play with the other rub-ons, but I will see. Yeah, I think we should change it. I, I, I will then I we we will be changing it. So these are some of the rub-ons. They're absolutely gorgeous. Some really neat stuff written in yeah, them. Yeah, and you can see on the other side that you can put them onto yeah. lots of elements. Here's some projects on the back of them. So on your coffee mug boxes. Um, look at those mugs at the bottom. 
are really simple to use. I'm just going to show you a couple of the different styles we've got, which will work in all your mixed media projects. Um, again, how to do them. Great for journaling, this one. I love oh, this one. Oh, this, this one's really... Uh, I really want to use this one. I don't have too many of these left. I have so it's such a hoarder. I uh, love this one. And then the Christmas ones I used that were in gold um, were basically these ones. So, if you ever played with rubbons when you were a child or younger, or, or do still play with rubbons, this would be a great um, Tuesday refresher. Refresher, and we'll be. This is done with the Penta Media Mist, um, so vibrant. And I'm going to be using the Stamperia Aqua Sprays because um, I have a whole bunch of new colors in and I haven't played with them mm. yet. So that's what I will be doing. Okay, so that's next week. Um, which one do you want to do next? You want to talk about these or these? Should we do this zoom? Zoom, yeah. Well, I can see you were going that way. Okay, so first of all, a huge thank you to everybody for joining us on our very first Zoom. Uh, we believe it was a success. The feedback is it was a success. Um, we had a great time. We did record it for those who were at work or weren't able to uh, join us. Just a quick uh, reminder, we sent the video link out, but you only have seven days to download. That's just the way the pro program works when we send it. It's such a big file. That the program that it uses gives you seven days. So download it if you haven't, because that link will be gone forever. So, yeah. So we will remember. be able to send it again, though. Yeah, I think I've wiped it off my computer because it was taking up too much yeah. storage. <laughs> That's the only problem with it. It's the only problem with keeping all these three-hour videos with storage on your computers. Yeah. But anyway, so um, again, if you're not able to make it or you're not there, um, it's recorded for you. The other thing, um, we will, on our next few Zooms, limit the number of people again, um, simply mm. because... It, it was such a nice intimate space. I think we did like 10 or more because obviously some people are going to watch it at a later date. But anyway, without further ado, I, I'm i really taking advantage of while Dally's here. So all the Zooms while Dally's here will be done probably by Dally. Um, and I'll just pick up after Dally leaves and then you'll do them in England. You can even do them from England. It doesn't matter. You just send a code. So we'll have one July the 9th. Yep. But that's a hope and one July the 23rd. So if you want both and you're out of town, um, it's probably easier just to get the both at the same time. Um, or even in the UK, we, we would be able to, we'd probably be able to do the album one, yeah. but not the bird cage one. So which one do you want to show first? Mm, we'll do the album first, Let's go we? for it. So Dali's curated this. It's like, I call it a junk journal album. Yeah, sort of a planner. So you've got a beautiful stencil there, so um, and then you've got all the pages. So I will teach you how to create the pages, how to cut the pages so that you can create as many pages as you want additionally. And I've used the music pad here because I think it's one of the most beautiful ones. And you will get all the die cuts, you will get all the papers, you will get all the, the, the three ring binders, you will get all the embellishments. Um, so, and I will teach you step by step, for example, let me see where's my little book. So things like this, little waterfalls here. So there's just so many little elements that are there, like little books and little envelopes. And I'll teach you to make all of those through the three hour Zoom, so step by step. And then you can go away and add to pages. You could have maybe something that you've gone to the theatre, maybe something you've gone in music. You could play the piano or a musical instrument. So you've got loads there. So it's just sort of jumped and we've made a little envelope pouches for you. We've also got a things to do bit. We put some papers in there because you can actually add anything because it's a ring binder. But it's something that you've created yourselves. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. And it's really light. It looks heavy, but it's so light. It's so lovely to work with, and I'm already, you know, going to start writing notes in it and stuff. I just think it's a really lovely way. It could even be a diary. Yeah. So I absolutely love it. So we'll have everything to go, including the stencil. Yeah. So we've put a basic kit together yeah. with the music pad, the stencil, yeah. um, the papers, the embellishments. 
and again some of you will already have some of the paints so um just pm pip she'll be able to sort you out yeah because you probably have a lot of that stuff i think the basic kit is the stencil the pad uh, and the, the craft and the papers and all the embellishments so that's basic um you know we've got the paint colors that we've used the acrylic paint so you might want to do your own colors on there it's a bluey brownie creamy pad it's absolutely gorgeous it's gorgeous to give us a gift too but i like it for our things to do list yeah and then there's another dally's creation so this one's the a very very large bird cage um it's a kaiser craft bird cage sorry, it's all in mdf um, so it's absolutely beautiful and you'll get all the elements you get all the embellishments um, you'll get all the um, techniques uh, we've used transparent crackle on there we've used uh, you'll get one of my designed handmade uh, designed papers as well uh, which is running along the bottom which is very Emmett on the bird so it will give create this effect again we will supply the bird cage and the embellishments as the basic kit um, and then if you want to add your own colours or you want to add, use your own paints, then that's fine as well. Yeah, if you want to stick with the colour palette we have, we have the paints. If you want to use your own colour palette to match your home decor, that's fine too. So a lot of detail, a lot of 3D elements, a lot of layering, a lot of composition. So I can teach you exactly how to do that step by step. And we'll probably be doing that on the 9th of July. Yeah, this one will probably come first because we're waiting for some music to come in. So that one will probably come first. Again, we're going to limit this. Um, because we do want to keep the zooms as intimate as possible. possible and last time it was great because everybody got a chance to speak and interact and Paul was there helping us along um, and we want to keep it that way because we want to make it as true to a workshop as we possibly can um, the kits in England I think the yes, music, definitely. music for sure and then I can repeat these when I go back to the UK yeah, um, with which different like products, <laughs> which is four weeks away yeah. now. So I can actually do do those, and we can I can bring the kits over. So if anybody in the UK wants a kit, just let me know, and I will put that in my luggage. Because the music one we can do back at home anyway, and it's a birdcage I need to bring from here if Pip has some left. Yeah. So just let me know if there's anything that you're interested yeah, in. Yeah, if anybody's interested. Or let Paul in, know. Yeah, Paul, let, Paul on Yeah, us. if anybody's interested in this big Kaiser Craft birdcage, they need to let you know. Soon. <laughs> Soon. Soon. So she can pack it. Okay, now, uh, last but not least, before we let Dali do her thing here, um, we sold out the Christmas kits. They were actually... Dolly keeps getting asked to make these Christmas card kits, so I'm doing a different one next. Yeah, yeah, you're doing a different one next, aren't you? For so men. we're doing it for men. Are we're you doing it for men? Oh, you didn't know about that. Oh, I. Because so know. many people do not have cards for men. No. So I'm going to do for me a men's kit. A masculine kit. A masculine kit. <laughs> Um, so we got asked to do a second follow-up kit to the very first Christmas kit we did way back in like May when we started the Technique Tuesdays and so Dali had the second kit ready to go and I thought oh, I'll just post it with um, it being halfway through the year and the, the whole Christmas and July June thing and then lo and behold it was gone in a couple of hours so then so I had a few people say well we missed out and I'm like you have to watch Facebook because I don't post these on my website because there's no point um, because they just go so Dali um, I says to her people were asking um, <laughs> what's Paul saying mm -hmm. so Dali was asking um, saying oh you're getting a lot of requests again uh, for the Christmas card kits I don't know. I, I think I went to go get grocery or something and I came back and this woman had Christmas cards made. So yeah. I'm going to show you her new Christmas card kit. Yeah. And I'm telling you, <laughs> there's only so many. Mm -hmm. And I, and Pip's yeah, already <laughs> taken one. <laughs> I've already taken one. You have to jump on them fast. Mm. Okay. So here we go. So I'm just going to have this. Kit's for men to make or cards for men from women. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need more men makers. <laughs> Paul's just getting back to us. Okay, so without further ado, 
let me show you the card kit. And we might do a Facebook on this. We might do a quick Zoom. Yeah? Yeah, you might definitely. Do a quick <laughs> so I was, I was reading the comments then. Could you tell? Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. Um, we might do a quick Zoom or, or even a Facebook Live on these um, because they're so straightforward to put together. But they involve some folding and envelopes, so Dali can teach you that. So the very, what are you calling this kit? I'm calling it Classic Christmas. Classic Christmas. So easy. So... How beautiful is that? So you'll get, again, all the elements. You'll get the set here, but you'll have to colour that yourself. You'll get all the different um, embellishments, um, all the mat and layering. So all the kits will be complete. So what it is, is we're just going to work and put your take on it. I'm going to show you how to make these envelopes because I just think they're really lovely gift cards. And it just works so, so well to put your little gift cards and in there. And then these actually uh, fold, fold over down. and they can be closed too. Exactly. So we've got a couple of different varieties. There's no overlap as such. Um, you'll get every single element. There might be a little bit of variation in sentiments or a few, a few little tiny differences. But to be honest with you, it's very subtle. Um, but they are absolutely beautiful. And it's the first time we're showing them, so if you want one, you need to get on the bandwagon. <laughs> you need to get on it. Uh, again, you've got the envelope that tucks behind there to close. So they're absolutely It's nice to slip a note in there. Yeah. And that's quite masculine too. I like that. Yeah, it is, definitely. And then, um, this is one of my favourite. It's such a simple yet beautiful card. So Very you have Christmassy. That there. Very Christmassy. And for those of you who have missed out on the Tim Holtz snowflake dies, we still have quite a, well, these are different. Some of them, I think you've got like Flurry 2, Flurry 1, and I've got Flurry 4. So these aren't on the website um, because I know as soon as I put them up, they'll be gone. So I'm just letting you guys know. Flurry 1, Flurry 2, and Flurry 4. Flurry, Flurry, Flurry. 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 That's how we say it in English. Isn't it? Fury. Fury. Is that what I said? No, Fury. No, you didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, there you have it then. And um, that's it. Hi, Sue. Let's see who else is there. Hi, Anastasia from Nikki Art. Okay, I'll let you get on with it. Okay. Okay. I'll see right. you in a bit. See you all in a bit. Thank you, CPP. So what I'm going to do is, anybody, we've gone through the cards this morning, so I'm going to go through them anyway. So I'm going to start off with this one. Very, very simple, but very effective. Now, this could be quite masculine. So let me start off with that. Quite easy to put together. I'm just going to go very quickly through each of the layers. So if you've got it, you can actually work with it. So I know a lot of you have got the kits, and sometimes when you get it all in one go and you don't have the card in front of you, you sometimes don't know exactly what goes where. So that's all I'm going to do today. So my first one I'm going to show you. So what you will have received from us is the actual um, mat and layer, which are about five and a half by five and a half. You will have received the actual blank coloured mat. And then the, the paper. Now, every time you do this, um, when you order one of these kits, you get these three elements as your bases because that's just to start you off. Then what I do is I then look for the embellishments that I think will work. In this case, I've used the deer. I've used a sentiment because I think we always need a sentiment. And I've used some of the die cuts which come with the fabric kits. Um, I know we've got the kits in the, in the UK as in, in the books if we've got any left, and I know that we've got some of the embellishments as well. So what I'm going to do is, let me put my um, computer down and let me get started. So I think I'm in the right place. So I always choose a Distress Ink, roughly that matches. You could use paints, you could use Distress, you could make these more mixed media, but that's what I do. So what I start off with is, I take the coloured paper, coloured paper, all the, the actual cardstock which has got the white core on it, and I just do the edges like you would. So quite simple. This is really simple. It's not something I know a lot of you will already be able to do this, but it's lovely when we sell the kits that those who have purchased them know how to put these together. 
So I'm just going to go around the edges. Very simple. I'm not even using the actual blending tool because I just like this effect. Okay. So that's all I've done. Now a lot of people ask me, what do you stick your cards down with? Now what I tend to do is, is if you want cards to stay and stuck down, use a wet glue because that will stay adhered. You can use tape um, as well, um, but a wet glue is the easiest way to do it. So I'm just using the Pentite Express glue, which is one of my favourites. So all I do is I put a dog. If you find that your positioning is, is a little bit more difficult, you can always use a bit of tape um, as well. And then you can lift that off. So all I do, dab it on and then just position it to make the card opens the right way. I think you can see all of that. Is that okay, Pip? Am I in the screen? Shall I move? You, no, you can just move your stuff when you're doing it. Though. There you go. Um, there, I think that's better. You'll see it in a second. There you go. It'll come up in a minute. I just want to make sure I'm in the right place. Yeah, you can put yeah. it right there. Yeah, so I'll stay here. Yeah. So, no basically, I'm just putting the, the matting layer. Now, a lot of you will know that Dali is not a card maker. So, if I can do this, we all can do it. Okay, so that's what I've done. First layer down, very simple. And the next bit I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the next layer. These are double-sided papers. So, if you have want to make an album, then this is really a really nice way to go about it. Now, Pip will be sending all the details out for the kits mm -hmm. and the Zoom. Um, so, just let us know wherever you are, whether you're in the UK, whether you're in Canada or anywhere else in the world that you would like to join us. So very simple, I'm just going to sit this down. We never have enough cards and a handmade card I think is one of the most beautifulest things that you can do. So what I find with the um, ribbon is I tend to um, stick it down um, with tape and glue. I just find it easy. Now a lot of you will use red liner tape which is actually probably the best. I'm just going to use it's just a double sided sticky tape. So, all I do is this is just to help me stick it down and let it, the glue will take a while to dry, but it is the express so it won't take so long. I'll just put the glue on the edges so you've got that there. So, then I'm going to just stick that now just at the top there. There we go. So, at the moment, that's my card. So, we've just got the three elements stuck down already. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Merry Christmas down next. Now you can raise this and I know in the new kits we've given you some foam to raise these with um, just so that you've got that. But I'm just going to use a, a little pop-up. Um, you can use a bit of cardboard behind it. it. Really is up to you. And again, just put that down and you could put a bit of glue on there so you know that's not going anywhere. So very, very simple, simple cards but very, very effective because of the elements we've provided you. So I'm going to tuck all of these little bits underneath. So just position it like that. Okay. So let's just use a little bit of glue on this. I know on, especially in the UK website, we have got the, now actually managed to get the Elizabeth Crafts um, double-sided tape rolls, which if you're a die cutter or anybody who wants to stick down intricate elements, is absolutely brilliant. If you've got a, a scan and cut or anything like that and you want to cut stuff and you want it to be sticky and you don't want to go through this process, that is the best way to do it, especially for very, very delicate things. So all I'm doing is I'm just catching bits of this with the glue. There we go. Very, very simple but very, very effective. And I think that's what it's about. Do you know, sometimes when you see a pad, it's extremely daunting. Extremely daunting. So, let's see, tuck these all in. Let me tuck that needle in so you know. There we go. I wanted to put the ribbon and the, the sentiment down first because that just gives me a little bit more control. Now, this is where the double-sided tape would be absolutely brilliant. Because then all these little bits have already got the tape on them. So there we go. And I think it's quite nice to give it still a little bit of dimension. 
because that's that's quite nice then it looks a little bit more real and then we've got this little beautiful like um wood chip which i'm going to put in the corner as well with a little bit of a popper as well so these just make beautiful christmas cards to give um and they're just so lovely and simple but so so effective we've also given you the little bits of gems as well so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take them and put them into the flowers use one for his little eye and again you could use you could use a 3d pen you could use i use the 3d pens from penta a lot for a lot of different projects and all i'm doing is if you you find this difficult to do you can use your tweezers you, you can use a, a tool um poker tool um i just find that if i hold one gem down with one one thumb i pull with the other and then i just put those down as she said and it's as, it really is as simple as that so i just love i love these cards uh, purely, I can see I haven't taken all my die cuts out from yesterday. No, that's okay. So I've got a little bit going on here. Now, if you wanted to come in with a, a um, glitter pen, you could do. I'll probably do the berries in the rainbow. It's one of my favourites. I know Paul's. Oops. I know Paul's ordered a few more in. Let that one run away with me. Um, and so. I know we're getting those back in again. There's also the snow pens as well that you could use. So let me just put a little bit of this, this onto some of the little bits. I just like the effect it gives when it dries. Gives you this beautiful sort of iridescent or rainbow effect. And it keeps its 3D. Um, so you've got a little bit more going on. Go. I think that's enough for me for this one. So that, thank you. So it's very, very simple, but very, very effective. Actually, a really nice masculine card. So I'm going to keep pressing the button to see if it doesn't go to sleep this time. Oh, I see. Good, smart girl. Once you're done with that card, yeah. can you please show them the dice again? Flurry one, two, and three. Okay, I will do. Are they over there or near me? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you want to me, I'll sort them for you because okay. I've only got a few. So I'll tell you what I've got. Okay. So Pip's going to sort that one out. So we've got this. So this was the one. Oh, I forgot to add it to my heart. I'm going to add some rainbow to my heart. I just noticed. And the other one, I've got rainbow in it. The one we used, we've got two of. Okay. So next set of cards, you can show that one. Okay. Sorry. I know we have some in England, but I don't know which one. So when I'm back, I can also pull some out yeah. for you. So there we go. It looks amazing, guys. That's that one. And that's one that we've made as, a, as an example, just so that you can see they're literally identical. You know, it really is your own take of how you want to do it. So that was, it's, they're so quick to put together. Isn't they it? are. So if you're one of these people like me, who always leaves it till the last minute to send a card, these are ideal. Right. Okay, so, so these are used in the next card kit. I only have two of these. Right, so this is the one we've used in the card kit, and we only have two of these, she's telling me. This one oh, is called, uh, does it say? Flurry. Flurry. <laughs> this is Flurry number two. So two of these are left, and it's Flurry number two. It sounds like I'm on an auction or something. So, um, so that's the one we've got. So if anybody wants it, they need to let us know okay. in messages. Oh. Um, oh no, that's mine. I'm yeah. not giving mine away. Okay. And then we have flurry number three. I only have one. This there. is flurry number oh, two. Three, two. and she's got two of these left. They're absolutely beautiful. They're really lovely. They come in the envelopes. And I know that um, I really love Sizzix stuff. And these are the alterations by Tim Holtz. <laughs> we have fl flurry number one. One. Could have done them in order. Flurry number one, one is this one, and we have one. <laughs> so flurry number one, we have one. Flurry number two, we have two. Flurry number three, we have three. Uh, and flurry number four, we have one. And flurry number four, we have one. <laughs> I sound like I'm either telling the scores for football 
or doing the coupons or something. I don't know. The coupons? No, the pools. See, it shows my age. It really does. So, the next thing I need to do is show you my next card that I'm going to work on. So my next card, another really simple but very effective. And do you know what? When people receive the cards, they'll see the love that you've put into them. They'll see the composition. They'll look beautiful on their mantelpieces. So it is a really nice way to give a bit of love at Christmas. You don't need to say it's so loud, sweetie pie. <laughs> she's in the background and she's talking really loud okay oh, no. same concept all your elements are provided to you every single element we've taken all the hard work out of it and in fact we're looking at putting a subscription kit together every month so that you've actually got a kit every single month to play with whatever occasion that is so if it's going to be Mother's Day or say friends or something so it'll be a combination it wouldn't all be mother's day um so it'd be for a special occasion so we can do a, an occasions one we can do baby ones so we could do a set of different occasions so those are the sort of things i'm looking at at the moment and we'd like to put kits together because there's still a lot of us who love to make cards um so again i chose a color i've just gone with the forest moss you could go with any green it really is up to you it's your stash so I'm just doing the edges again like I did I didn't do it on the navy one because it was a lot lighter but I've done it on this one now just take your papers again this will be in your kit a few elements here again just go over around those it's very very simple and like I say if you've got these you've got them in a little bag which we provide you with you can go to your little bag, choose the ones that you want to make. So you don't even have to have them made up. And voila, you've got a card. Really nice to do with your grandchildren, your family. So it's a really nice way to do, do this. Now I'm going to just take the edges of my um, beautiful, this is the Becky Seddon dye, which we have, which is a swirly, uh, swirly spray. It comes with a few other elements. It's a massive. And it's probably one of my favourite dyes in terms of floral, but also to cut down. It's very Christmassy, but it's very floral as well. So many different occasions. It's just so many different occasions. Again, I'm going to take my brush. I'm just going to dab on. Not too much. So you don't want the card to get totally drenched in glue. Um, the Penta Express is amazing for this. Okay. There you go. Really nice, really simple. One mat already down. Again, so I've got my ribbon. Now you might have a different ribbon. So you may have the silver ribbon. I've just got a different ribbon because we've actually run out of that ribbon. So depending on how long your ribbon is, you can either glue it down or you can tape it down. So Pips very kindly bought me the Becky Sudden Dye. It is huge. It's made in the UK um, and it's um, got four elements to it and you can actually mat and layer it so much. It's unbelievable. It's called the Swirling Spray, but it is absolutely massive. I don't know how to explain how big it is. In my hand, it doesn't even cover it. So it is huge. So I know she's got a few. She has another one. Oh yeah, she bought out two dies in the same collection. It's called Doily Dreams. In fact, I'll do some, I've got some stamps and maybe I'll do a kit with these. So, absolutely beautiful. This is really, really nice. Um, again, huge dies. And again, lots of different elements. Great for mat and layering that one as well. Great for doilies if you're into that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back to my um, tape. Again, same as I did with the previous ribbon, a little bit of tape just to hold it in. Okay, so I'm just putting my tape down, double-sided tape, and that just helps me hold that card in. Good. So what I tend to do is I stick the tape on one side, I go over to the other side, look at how straight it is, and then bring that over. And then you've got that. Again, glue. 
and here I would just put it on the ribbons as well so if you've got any you don't want anything lifting and then at home you can take your time to do these so very simple a little bit of matting layering there we go so all done there so very very it's such simple techniques now this again would have been lovely if we'd actually got this on double sided tape but if you've got glue that's fine as well I've just got a message here I don't know and I can't see it um, who's that let me pull that up see if I know right there we go so we've got a message hello Elaine but I'm just in the middle of my Facebook and I will get back to you I hope everything is good <laughs> don't want to miss that out in my little message so there we go so just again same sort of technique just dabbing it on but seriously it would be so much easier with Elizabeth Craft double sided tape okay just put it where you want to and you feel comfortable I just find this is such a beautiful beautiful die just takes up the whole card so you can imagine it on a, an A5 even so and again I've got this little sentiment up here and I'm going to use my little pop-up dot as I call them all little um, dot holes and I'm just going to pull that through I mean, what we'll probably start doing is with the kits if we do send them out as subscriptions is actually give you the tape um, in your first kit so you've got that always as a basic so then I've got these three elements and again you can put them however you feel comfortable you don't have to do them the same as I have and what I tend to do is um, again take a bit of tape and stick them all together just to layer them so if it makes it easier for you just to work with them there we go so I tend to do that only because it makes it easier now you can do it the other way where you just put them through some people find it easier to do it this way some people do it differently so then I can still move and maneuver those and then they just sit there then we gave you some beautiful gems um, in the pinks and I did have them a minute ago here they are my little tray I'm trying to be organized today and I've got the pink gems here we go and oops I just pulled the heat strip off Let's do it this way and all I'm going to do is put those in and again these very very there's a bit of pink in this paper so that's why I chose the pink so when I put these kits together, I do have to think a little bit. But would say I don't think at all, but there we go. Um, so we've got these beautiful little elements. Now you could put, and I've changed it a little bit to the one I did because I put the ribbon um, and I put the elements a little bit higher. But this is just to show you. It is your card and you can do these how you like. So there we are, another one made. From start to scratch so there we go slight variation but not much my colors might vary a little bit but the elements are there okay so you've got a second one done there then the third one I'm going to show you today is and I'll show you that after I've shown you some of these because I'm not going to stick all of them together because I think some of them are self a little bit more self-explanatory so let's start off with oops, let's start off with this beautiful one Again, I would take a light. Put this one through. I would take a light cardstock, um, light cardstock. I'll take the coloured cardstock. This is the one we're looking at now. Um, again, do all the edges with your distress inks. I'll take that. Distress inks. I'll distress the let snow. I put the little ribbon at the bottom, like I've said with the tape. And then you've got your gems, which I would then add on to embellish. So that would give you this card here. Very simple, but very, very effective. And they look absolutely amazing. Okay, so that's one. That's that one done. And the other one I'm going to show you is one of my favourites. Oops, just pulled out from my leaf and my light went. Hold on one minute. Uh -oh. Oh, she's uh -oh. done something to my light. Oh, so taken her lights out. She's taken my lights out. She's putting them back on for me. So you could run and get mine from upstairs. 
So this one's with the acetate. And what you've got in the acetate one, which is actually one of my favourites, I love this acetate, I absolutely love it. It is so thick. And again, you've got all the elements. Let me just show you those. Let me move this card out of the way because it's confusing at the moment. You've got all your little snowflakes. You've got your ribbon. You've got your snow. Your little reindeer is so cute. Okay. So on this one, it's slightly different. So you've got your cardstock. You've got your backing sheet. Then you've got your mat of your paper. And then what I've done is I've stuck this one on next. Now you could stick this over the top. Again, I've used the same sort of green to actually embellish all of that. Yeah. Then I've taken this beautiful sheet of acetate and I've stuck that on top. Let me put the shiny side up. I love this acetate. Look at that. Very thick. Put that on top. Okay. Stick your ribbon on. Stick your two little small fleeks on and you'll be able to watch this on record so don't worry too much. Put your snow over here and put your little fella here. So there you go. So first you put the green card down, then you put the the, the um, image down. Put you Don't forget to put your little design underneath and then put the acetate over the top. Again, everything is provided and use your little gems to decorate, okay? So again, another one done for you. And then finally on this, this one, and then I'm gonna show you one card that I'm gonna make, is quite simple, it's quite straightforward. And again, it's basically the same concept. I would take a lovely like pink to this one. Yeah. Take your ribbon, 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 even. Take your little embellishments, put them in the corners, bend them up, decorate them. And then you've got your beautiful words, which are absolutely lovely, hope and joy. And then again, use a 3D pen, use your gems, and just decorate away at your heart's content. So you can see that, oops, I've dropped all those now. That one's going to be like that. Okay. So let me just put these all back over here because this is actually somebody's card kit and I don't want to destroy it. So the last one I'm going to show you in this series of these cards is this one. Again, absolutely beautiful. You get all the elements. So I'm going to start off with, again, the white mat, which is already cut for you. Let us know if you would like a card subscription because it would be interesting to know if it's something you'd like to do on a monthly basis, um, it is something that Pip and I can work on then. Try and do different types. And as you know, we've got a digital range. I know a lot of you have purchased a digital range. And I know very kindly Jill has started looking at some of the ones we haven't released yet. It's called Unlock Your Wings. Shh. And I've put another one together with Pip, which I need to send to Jill, which is called Industrial Denim. Absolutely beautiful collections, in my opinion. And that's and a nice masculine in one, isn't it? That is. That is very masculine, actually. I know you've started on a project on your other one, haven't you? So I need Jill to play with those. Thank you, Jill, so much. So talented lady. So I've just put a little bit on there. I don't want to put too much. I don't want to take away from that. I like that white. Yes. Okay, so back to this card. Again, very simple. Blue, 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 blue. I keep it quite, I like to keep it simple because my, as Paul and Pip will tell you, my concentration span is zero. So for me, I like things to be really dimensional. I like them to be really pleasing, but I like to take the least amount of effort. Okay, again, oops, throwing it away. I want to stick a little bit of that tape on the back just to hold it in place. 
Now you could even use either sides of these papers. If you want to change yours up, you could have used this side instead of that side. So it really is up to yourselves. So you do get choices even with the kits. So it's not just a straightforward, oh, this is a kit. You could mix and match. You could choose your sentiments from one of the other um, cards. They've been designed so that you do get the best, best of both worlds. Okay. Now, you could be really precise and get your Merry Christmases all uh, totally where you want them. So I'm just going to leave mine like this. Again, glue, middle, I'm just going to put it on the ribbons as well, so I always find that they may lift. Trying to come back there all of a sudden. Okay, so I'm thinking that's all good. There we go. Again, layer down. I'll have all my Christmas cards done at this rate, so that'll be good for a change. Okay, so we've got that. Now, again, very simple. We're going to put the love up here. Bit of love, and again, this would be great if you had the sticky. And there we go, so that's all going down there. And there we go, that is okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shape these a little bit. You could cut into them, you could do them slightly different, you could put them at different places. But I'm going to put mine over here, and they're just going to be hello. We've got no mama tea today. Oh, it's too early. <laughs> got activity in, in, in the house here so I think she's going to knock the whole place over we've been knitting um, Pip's found a new um, design for a scarf and she's been asking mum to knit her one so mum's been knitting her scarves with pockets and we've also been practising okay so I'm going to take my four gems here and just stick them to the corners, just add a little bit of bling, as they would say. I don't like too much bling, I have to be honest with you, especially on my cards. I'm not really that sort of person, but I just want to show you. And one of my favourite berry-making 3D pens is Ruby Red by Pentart. I'm going to use that, and I absolutely love it. They're transparent, so they're... Um, Basically, um, you're able to sort of see through them, but they give you this glazed effect. So I'm just going to use that on there. When they dry, they look like they do look like a crystal, really. And we've got all these red bits, so it's a really nice card to use them on. And again, these are 3D, so they won't flatten out. Um, and I do love the 3D pens by Penta. You get a lot in a pen. And you can use them to make squiggles, you can write with them. So you can just see, oh, we've got all these really lovely elements. Now if you wanted to go in and add a bit of the um, rainbow glitter pen, then you can do that as well. So I might just pick up a few bits here and there. So we've got a couple of bits there. I want to add it to a bit of snow onto our cone here. So again, one of my favourites. And like I say, the new snow pens are out now as well. So you might want to change and look at those and the ice effect pens. There we go. So for me, that's that's sufficient. Slightly different. If you want to go back in, I just know to, and do the love you could do with these because they're so easy to use. I'm just going to use it a little bit here. There you go. So you've got a little bit of sparkle going on to match the rest of the card on your sentiment. So that is so similar, hopefully, to the other one. So it just gives you an idea of how I've created that. So there you go. So that's that's the set of cards that we've made this week. And as many of you joined us earlier, we are making another set of cards um, for the, the following following week. And I think I've hid them somewhere. Oh, it's just taken. Just taken them away. So I'll just quickly. So if you've got any questions or anything like that, then just let us know and we will put all the stuff together for you. 
Um, I've got two of the die cuts left now. Oh, are these the two you've got left? I think those are the only two that I can see. So now. we've sold out most of the die cuts. We've just got flurry four and flurry one left. So if you're interested, then that's fine. Um, but eleven ninety nine. Oh, some okay. Somebody asked us how much they are. Eleven ninety nine in English. <laughs> what am I speaking? <laughs> no, no. What I mean is in pounds or dollars. No, it's already been done. It's been answered. Oh, okay. Oh, or did somebody say that would be in Canadian dollars? Yeah. Okay. Eleven ninety nine so, Canadian dollars. Oh, okay. <laughs> so oh, they're really cheap. I think I accidentally inexpensive. 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 They're Tim Holtz, too. I think I might have priced her wrong, but it's too late so. now. You guys are just getting a really good deal. <laughs> I think they're double that price. But I think they're okay. double that price because we sell them at eleven ninety nine. I'm sure that's why I asked her that. She's not listening to me as usual. So there I'm we go. I'm giving away stuff now. So, Flurry 1 and Flurry 4 there for okay. you. Okay. Okay? And then they were... you going to show the cards one the Yeah, I can use the cards here. Okay, so here's card number one, uh, using the die so that we were just talking about, the ones that I'm now giving away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, you guys get special privileges when you come on here. There's a second card with the gift card holder. Thank You've you. done such a fantastic job, Dolly. Thank you. I love this one. The classic Christmas or traditional, what did you call it? Classic. Them? I classic think classic's Christmas. nice. Okay. So. Yeah, and I think with these ones, we I think we only have three left. Aww. If anybody wants any in the UK, I can bring you a set back. I can make some for you. They're my favourite. That's another Tim Holtz die and embossing folder, but I only have one. Yeah, we're not sharing that. I'm not sure. It's not giving that one away. That away. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it. So, what else did we talk about? Just, okay, the upcoming Zoom, for anybody that missed it, the upcoming Zoom, um, June the 9th, uh, July the 9th and July the 23rd. <laughs> We're just all over the shop. We have this gorgeous um, planner uh, and everything that's going to go in it. The elements and look how nice that is. That's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I know it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, and, and then you get the stencil. So this kit, just at the basic level, is the book, the papers, all the embellishments, and the stencils, and maybe yeah. a paint. And then anybody wants yeah. to add on options, they can. And then the July 9th, the very first one we're going to do is this one. Just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Wow. As my mum would say. Yeah, mum would say, wow. Yeah. And this one, the basic kit for this Zoom is the birdcage and the elements and the, the, paper. the A4 paper, Dali's design paper right there. And optional will be paints and acrylics. I think you would need the cracker gel clear one with this too. Yeah. So this way we can help keep the cost down of the Zooms for everybody and you guys can start using stuff that you have at home. As Dali mentioned, it doesn't have to be what we have. Um, acrylic paints, things like that. There are Definitely. certain recommendations. I mean, we use Delica and there is, I mean, you. there's a glimmer to it. It's there's a a, there's very nearly fine. a thickness to it now yeah. as well. It's not like one of the, it's not like a normal acrylic. No. So if you want to get these shimmers, and you want to get the blends, then you do need yeah. the, the paints I've used, but you can create this using your own colours. Yes, we, you, you can. You can do different options, can't we? Yeah, so we can see what kind of paint colours you're going to put some options together for you, but again, you don't have to get those. Uh, you'll just need at least the basics to get going. Definitely. So July 9th, July 23rd for music, and I think that's it for today. It is, it is, and we're doing the journal page for next week. So, oh, yes, and then for next week, um, We're using I'm bonds, playing basically. around with these Raban transfers. I don't know what our dad's doing with a pen over there. I'm like, be quiet. Yeah. He's like talking while we're talking. So these are just some of the Raban transfers we're going to be using. 
I haven't decided which one. And then Dali's got the book here. So you can see the rub on transfers there. Then Mary I think Christmas. you should do a steampunk one. She thinks I should do a steampunk one. Um, yeah, I could do that. I might end up doing a few because I just love them. And then I could pick one for the actual class. So that's using the Pentop Media Mist. Some modeling clays, some sparkling gels, uh, the Pipar Mountain Stencil, and the Rub-Ons, of course, from Stamperia. And I will be, in my demo, I will be using the Stamperia Aqua Colors because I've got a whole bunch of new colors. That's it. Okay. Well, that's one of our papers, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So that's I know, Jill, way. you've had this, and I know a lot of you have bought this. It's uh, a digital... It's a digital um, bulk 8x8. It's been extremely popular. And we just used um, a couple that we printed there. We actually printed it onto copier paper to mm. get us this really smooth finish. Mm. So There's another journal page I've been playing with. That's with the Bravest Strongest stamp from Pipar and my Florana stamp. So we, can, yeah. we like using that stuff, don't we? We do, we do. We wouldn't design it otherwise, I don't think. Um, so it's really nice. And we've got some few new kits i've been working on another one this morning um so i'm going to do a men's kit next and then i'll probably do special occasions after oh that. reach the anchor that's another class that we'll yeah. be doing we don't know when yet uh we did put these out on zoom uh it's right there hand on my plastic can you reach it you can't reach it she's a short fry you can't even see it well how was i supposed to reach them <laughs> i've still got my slippers on she's still got her house slippers on so, and this is another one. Again, I think most of you guys would have the product for this. It's all the Pentart grass effect, moss effect. You would just need the anchor and all the goodies to go with it, maybe some wax. Yep. Stone paste. Stone paste. Some people might not have stone paste, but I think lots of people have that too. And the rest effect kit. So I think you guys have everything you need to make. This. Again, we could, the basic kit would be the anchor and the embellishments. Yeah, the anchor and embellishments. But there you have it, guys. Um... Oh, just so you, that. just so you know, um, I've been working on my Sea World kit. It's not done yet. Um, it's one of my favorites. But this is alongside like, the anchor. It's like so scrumptious. Mm -hmm. But I still have to finish it, brighten it up. But I wanted to show it that I am also doing stuff, not just Dali. She's just not, but it's just she barbecues, and she does a great job. So that's <laughs> barbecues, her. She I cooks. Eat. She I cook. eats. She drinks. <laughs> She drives us around, um, so she does. She wears lots of different hats, and, and then she creates. Cut hair too. Oh yeah, she cuts colors and cuts her hair too. I'll do mine. So. Um, but that's it. We're good, right? We're good. We love you all. We all miss you. We want you to stay safe and yeah, well. and healthy. And as restrictions keep getting lifted, you know, I think PMS. social distance is still important. Yep, PMS Unless with any questions. questions, anything we've done. We will download this. We will put it onto YouTube. Obviously, it's available on Facebook Live. But it always gets lost in all the feeds. Um, and just keep you, yeah, we have lots of offers on Facebook. We have our newsletters going out. Yeah. We have our websites. Anything that you want to ask us, you've seen or you haven't seen or you're interested in, just ask us. We can only help. Yeah. And let me know if you guys one day would like just to kind of show and tell like I had the dyes just sitting here but they're not on my website because they're just here if anybody wants them I have lots of fun stuff um I could go through the stamp collections from Stamperia I could go through some of the stencils they have yeah and that especially because you, you guys, can't come in and visit yeah and you can't like come that. in and visit and everybody enjoys being on the internet looking at stuff but uh, yeah that's yeah. it all right then so love and leave you bye bye, bye. Bye from the family too.